Hello, this is Neurofox29 here, and by looking at the title of this video, you probably already know what I'm going to be talking about. Well, people seem to be getting banned a lot lately, or kicked, and it's mainly because people seem to think that when they join games like these, they don't need to read the rules. Which isn't true. Okay, so there's three types of people that have probably broken the rules in games like this before. Either one, they can't find the rules to the game. Two, they're like me, they read the rules, but they forget a lot of them because those types of people are forgetful. Or three, they're lazy and they don't want to read the rules at all. I have a friend who also plays this game, and she says, Is it just me, or does it seem like people are breaking the rules here a lot more than ever? And I'm just thinking to myself, you know what, that's true. That is so true. There has been a lot of rule breaking going on around here. Especially with rule number five of this game which I'm going to pull the rules up here for you guys real quick. Okay, so here are the rules. The first one says, follow Roblox terms of use. The second one is saying no inappropriate behavior like kissing or pregnancy. The third one is just saying you have to be respectful to other role players. The fourth one, says follow the game lower. Now the fifth one a lot of people have seen to break, which means you cannot be a god, you cannot be anything royalty, or say you have all kinds of powers. Now I know a lot of people break this one. And number six, it's just saying you have to be a fox. It's okay to be a hybrid, but you have to at least be part fox. I guess that's just against the rules here just for this game. And number seven, the last one. I don't think a lot of people broke this one. I guess it just says no gem farming. I guess that one's just forbidden. So yeah, those are the rules. There's not really that many rules and it's not hard to read. I don't understand why people are so lazy that they can't just pick up the rules and read them. Alright, so let me tell you a little story. A few days ago, there was, I'm not gonna say the person's name, but there was this one person who wanted to do royalty roleplay. And what happened is that the owner came on telling her that she wasn't allowed to do that. And they got into this huge argument with one another. And I'm just thinking to myself, well, gee, didn't you read the rules? I mean, they have it on there for a reason. And not so long after the owner left, somebody actually got banned from this game. And it happened again today. Somebody else got banned from this game. Or at least it looked like it from what it was saying. But guys, the hedge bush or the staff, they didn't have to make nice morphs like this. Like, there was a lot of people who really wanted the morph that I am right now. And they were harping on them and harping on them and harping on them. And I'm just thinking to myself, Sure, it would be nice to have a nine-tailed Gitsune, but to go ahead and bait someone? That's just really rude. Think about how hard it is for a staff member to make a nice morph. I can only imagine what that person, I don't know how to say his name, but he's always constantly making fox morphs for us. He seems like a really nice guy, I haven't really met him. He does have a YouTube channel, I know that, but 
You shouldn't be begging him to make you fox morph like that. You really shouldn't. Think about how hard it is. Really, guys, put yourself in his position, or her. I'm not sure if it's a he or a she. But you put yourself in that person's position. Would you like a lot of people to pressure you into making a fox you probably don't want to make? They didn't have to do this. They really didn't have to. Yes, I wanted a nine-tailed Gitsune, but I didn't harp on him for it. So it's like, guys, just knock it off. Really? Like, seriously. And also, I see this happen in other games a lot. If someone dares you to break the rules, please don't listen to them. You could just block them. Because guess what happens when the staff finds out? Well, it's certainly not going to be them who gets blocked now, is it? It's going to be you. Because you're the one who's doing it. So guys, remember, don't break the rules. Stay safe. And this goes for all the other games too, not just this one. But if you were to break the rules in any games, like this one that I'm on for example, what's going to happen is that these two foxes are going to come in for real. And they're not going to be happy when they find out you break one of their rules. And they're going to give you the hammer right there. So if you want to see more, don't be afraid to like and subscribe. Hope to see you in the next video. Later.